Hello, welcome everyone to the hearth. Today, Kristen, Kate, and I will be speaking about what drew us to the work, how it has made a difference for us, and how it's alive in our lives today. We'll be having a talk about this in the group for all of you to join in two weeks on June 19th, and hope you'll join us. So do one of you want to begin with talking about what drew you to the work and yeah I can, I can join i can start and then this this will also just stand alone uh, on its own inside the hearth and i want you all to also bring your stories like what drew you to the work and having been involved in pre and perinatal work so you know psychology and somatics for 24 years um, it is quite an interesting tribe, and a, a lot of people feel passionate about it and committed to it, and and like I can feel their love for it. And some of us don't even know why. Uh, so we're exploring these questions at the hearth, and and inviting you to be a part of this of our tribe, of our circle. And for me, what 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 got me here is a story I often tell which is the client zero star story. And it was 24 years ago when I had a client remember her birth on my table as a craniosacral therapy practitioner. And I was a brand new mother too. I just had a baby, but her birth process uh, was uh, something I didn't know that people could have. They could remember their births and her birth was very similar to my birth, which I didn't know at all at the time. So when she came and she said, you know, I feel like the, the questions that you asked me about my own birth, because we're trained to do that in the biodynamic cranial work, they were the reason for my lifelong depression. And I want to heal it. I want to heal it with you. And for me, I didn't know that that was even a thing. So I said, sure. And with my hands on her and the craniosacral therapy, uh, she processed her near-death experience and it ignited this panic and anxiety, terror inside of my body. And I wanted to know how that could happen. So I, I called William Emerson, who was the only one I knew at the time, who knew, so I met him recently at the Biodynamic Cranial Conference, the very first one in our country. And he explained, you know, how this could happen. Like their memory ignited a memory of mine. And he asked me about my birth. And sure enough, her birth and my birth were very similar. And I wanted to know how that could happen. And it, it just ignited my passion and my curiosity and in such a good way. So I, ever since then, I've been turning over every stone and reading every book and interviewing every person and taking all these trainings. And it has brought me so much joy and so much love and passion uh, for, for humankind, really. And how has it made a difference for me? It, is, it has given me a profession, a lifelong passion uh, and it has brought a, an, a, a wonderful tribe of people into my life. It has brought me a lot more nervous system regulation and expansion and joy and connection to myself and to human beings and to life on planet Earth. I often talk about that with people. Like, what is it that you want for yourself here on planet Earth? And and I help people get there well, that's my job i feel like is to help them feel their purpose even if it's just to have fun which is really one of my purposes here on planet earth <laughs> uh, and how is it alive for me i mean every day it's alive and sometimes i just can't wait to get to my work so i can write down the latest thing and help it manifest something more bigger, better, more beautiful uh, in, the, in the world because of my passion and my love for the work. And I teach it now. Uh, and I was telling my, my friends here, Eileen and Kristen, like, 
I, I'm much better as a team member. And I never thought I'd be standing up in front of people teaching. Uh, I'm really good behind the scenes. So this is a, not a natural role, but I do it anyway. I just align myself with my love and that's how I get there. And then it's easy. So it's given me a lifelong sort of passion and love that I engage in every day. That's me. So much, Kate. Mm -hmm. I can feel myself smiling as I'm listening to you. <laughs> um, I want to really relate to, I, I'll start with how it's alive for me, because as I was listening to you, I really resonated with what you were saying. Um, what I've noticed in my life after over a decade in this work is so much more ease and happiness and health, both emotionally and physically. But what really resonated with me is compassion for others. Even today when I'm having a difficult time for somebody, it's actually really easy for me to feel compassion for them and put myself in their shoes. And I really think that um, being in this field, being with the people that I've been in this field and what I have learned has really grown my heart and uh, real compassion for other people. I was laughing as I was telling you both how I came into this work. Uh, when I was a child, really, I was so aware of the world and the suffering in the world. And it was really difficult for me to perceive so much suffering. So at 10 years old, I wanted to be the queen of the earth so I could end suffering. And uh, then in my 20s, I began to feel very passionately about supporting children. I didn't know what I wanted to do, but I knew that I wanted to support children in the challenges that they experienced. In my 30s, I began to learn modalities of body work, yoga, Rima. And so I started to have organized systems through which I could support other people and not have such a wide domain of the whole world um, to have to do something about, but to really be more realistic about how I could support others and how to do that in a practical way and take care of myself. And then in my 40s, when I found pre and perinatal somatics, what was so wonderful about it, Kristen, you were the first person I spoke with about it. And I remember what lit me up is when I asked the question, what does it look like? And you said, well, it looks different for everyone else, depending on what their intention is. And that lit a spark in me. And really at that moment, I knew I wanted to do this work and then I needed to find out what it was. What I really appreciate about pre and perinatal somatics as somebody who was in the healing arts for quite some time already is that it doesn't feel like a heavy lift for me to be with people and their intention and even their deep pain because I really am coming from a place of sharing my ease and joy and health and the way that my heart has grown with other people and instead of feeling like I need to lift them in some kind of heavy lift or fix them or do something for them um, to change them, I feel more that I'm sitting with people in their intentions for health and sitting in my newfound health and inviting them to join me. So even in that, even as somebody who's interested in helping other people, uh, doing this work really helped it be something that is more joyful than um, 
it was for me when I was little and really alone in, in, uh, or I felt alone in perceiving the suffering in the world. So now I still know that there are a lot of things that make me uncomfortable and um, that don't make sense to me, but I have very simple steps by with, uh, which I can learn, I can get support from others for myself and also support others in, um, in their intentions and their challenges. So that's me. Thanks, Eileen. Thanks, Eileen. I think it's great listening to where both of you are, both in your journeys and how it's alive for you today. You know, it's interesting. I think I'm going to start with the middle question of how has it made a difference for you, for me? And I think I want to start there because I feel like it has completely changed my life. It, I, you know, sometimes I describe it as it turned my life upside down and backwards. And I think that because I have such a history that from the very early on that things were really challenging for me in a lot of ways, you know, from being a kid, I was really, you know, shy and quiet, partially because of all the different transitions of being adopted and trying to just navigate the world and who's here and what does that mean and how do I fit in and how do I navigate what is here now that wasn't just a little bit ago. And so this work really, and I entered into it really kind of thinking, I didn't know whether or not I would continue on and making it my profession but the least that I could do was that it would give me some personal work and it has made my life much more full of ease and happiness and I feel like it has allowed me to include myself and find my own impulses and come into relationship both with myself my history and with situations that I find myself in, including people who I'm in relationship with now, as well as circumstances and things. For instance, gosh, I would have never done this like <laughs> 30 years ago. I have some kind of video recording of myself um, just being in the in front of people was such a terrifying event for me. And it still is to some degree, I will admit that, but there is a lot more ease with it because there, I can connect to my intention and I can connect to what it is that I'm really wanting to put forward or what my impulse is at the time. So it's made a huge difference in my life in so many different ways and um, what really brought me to it, you know, I came across pre and perinatal psychology sort of by chance. I was looking at going back to school and I always had an interest in psychology, especially given my history, that it's like not only was I culturally different than my family and people who are around me, but I was really quiet where most of my best friends were extroverts and out there and it seemed like it was so much easier for them to have conversations and make friends and be in relationship with different people that I I wondered why that was and uh, I don't know that I knew at the time how much that was from my early history and how I was welcomed or not welcomed into this world and then the different transitions that I had to make before I came into the family that then raised me. So when I found pre and perinatal psychology, it was like, I really would love to support families and parents with children who found themselves in a challenging situation or unexpected situation. And how do we support them with that? 
you know, anything from miscarriages to chronic illness or special needs or just a little one who was very different than what you were expecting. And, and I find how that is alive for me today is just like, I feel as if I'm in a discovery process with every client that I'm with in every situation that I am in. It's just like, how do we, I'm thinking of the Buddhist philosophy of beginner's mind. How do we just deeply listen to what's present here with us today and discover what's needed, discover what was needed back then that wasn't met but, or discover what's needed right now, whether it's a shoulder next to us or someone just sitting in presence or a shoulder to cry on or someone to just be really goofy and <laughs> make you laugh. Yeah. So I think that's how this area really impacts my life is made a difference and why I feel very passionate about it today hmm. oh, thanks Kristen thanks Kristen well I think I'd like to add just one more thing and maybe you two would like to add one more thing before we stop which is I, I witnessed a lot of people come to pre and perinatal work because I have, of my job when I worked for the Association for Prenatal and Perinatal Psychology and Health. I ran their, I founded and ran their education department. And in the process of doing that, I talked to a lot of people every day and their eyes just lit up when they started to talk about their connection with pre and perinatal work pre and perinatal psychology, whether it was working with a family or a baby or themselves or understanding our early roots of health. And it it really is about rediscovering our truest nature, our beautiful human nature, uh, our spiritual essences, our deepest parts of ourselves that are so connected uh, to, to who we truly are. So I like to say that we are discovering and exploring our earliest experiences to discover our truest nature. And I do believe that that is what happens. And, and it's enlightening and expanding and also grounding. And it, it brings joy. So that I wanted to add that. Your, what you just said was such a perfect segue to what I wanted to say. Uh, Kristen, you spoke about being connected to your own impulses, your own healthy impulses. And Kate, you just spoke about authenticity. And what pre and perinatal somatics has done for me is created a real simplicity in my life. Um, many times we can feel things are so complicated and there's so much to figure out. But when we really begin to drop into and settle into those authentic impulses, life can be more easeful and simple and joyful. And we can meet challenges with more resilience and resource. So I'm very grateful for this work. Thanks, Eileen. Thanks, Eileen. Yeah, I think what I would say is I, I liked your word Kate, about true essence. You know, I think a lot of what this work is about is, yes, we navigate or we connect to some of the history, but to we do that so that we can actually be seen that our essence can be expressed and revealed a little bit more. And However we do this work or however long each piece of work that we do or that we discover helps reveal that 
helps us connect to something that was underneath there that has been there and is there all the time. Mm -hmm. And so a lot of times when I talked with people is it's not just about a session. It's not just about a workshop. It's really about a practice and how do we, how do we learn how to be with ourselves, with others in a different way so that that essence can be seen and revealed and expressed. Um, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks, Kristen. Yeah. Thanks, Eileen. Yeah, thanks, all. <laughs> all right. See you at thanks. the high. Thanks, everyone. Mm -hmm.